all right guys here we go today we're gonna test out this uh mega bass so this is a vision 110 in a french pearl color this white color should do good in this muddy water oh very very slippery Let's see if this rock gonna hold me good Oh, fish on. First one. First pike over the day. Woohoo! On the board. They do like this white color, huh? French pearl. My new mega bass. These hooks are super sticky. They stick the fish wherever it touches. Look at that. Here you go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Whatever this is. That's a good one. Oh gosh, it's a nice pike! Oh gosh! This does not take very long. This white pearl works really well. Whoa, that's a nice pike, look at that! Oh my gosh! This new spot does produce. Let's drag him over to this bay. Wow! Come over. Wow! Come up. Wow! Look at that! That's a nice one, man! Look at that! Wow, man! Wow, that's a nice one! Or French pearl color! Wow! Wow! We gotta handle this fish very carefully. They have incredibly sharp teeth and they have incredibly sharp hook on them. Wow, incredible fish. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be my new PB. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, my fingers bleeding, but that's okay. 30. 32 inches look at this guys 7.98 this is the 8 pounder wow we just got an 8 pound northern pike i couldn't believe this this is unreal this it's already in the fall i thought all the big fish are gone but this is unreal guys 8 pound north pike officially marked my new PB. Wow, I am so stoked. Wow, still cannot believe this just happened. Look at the size of this fish. Wow, this one is so thick. It's almost ready to go. Bloody fingers. It happens guys when you catch a fish that big and you just get too excited and handle it without care. That's what happens to a finger. Be really careful handle those big fish. They are very very strong. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. We got another fish. This one's not pulling as strong. Could be a small one. 
But uh, fish number three, let's see what it is. It's a pike. It's a small pike. <laughs> Another baby. Baby number two of the day. Wow, they are really biting. Nice. Let's get a quick release on this guy. We got a bigger fish to catch. Bye bye, little guy. You know, guys, in this 75 degree day, I'm still using a jerk bait. And it's working, man. Looks like there's a lot more fish in that bay. Let's try to snack some more. Another nice one guys, this is probably 23 inches on the same spot. I think there's something special about that spot. You know, the current is really fast through this bridge and there's a little bay area slows down. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hold on, hold on. Woo. Almost escaped. I think that little bay area slows the currents and really holds some nice fish. Here you go. Strong kick. Wow. Oh, that's enough noise. I have to admit, that's enough noise. I can't bear it anymore. Let's go find some other spots. Second spot of the day. Let's go. Definitely quiet. Guys, even though this is quiet in the second spot, but I haven't seen anything. Well. Oh wait, that's a fish. Oh my gosh. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Or fish number five over the day. Come over here. Oh. Not a monster, but still, this is a nice fish. This one is probably 22 inches. Still a nice one though. Check this out. I was like, I probably won't be able to catch anything in the second spot. It's been so quiet. But uh, here we go. Beautiful pike. Here it goes. It's really getting hot, guys. I would say this is definitely 85 degrees rather than 75. It's really hot. It feels like summer. But uh, I'm still using a jerk bait and uh, I just want to test this bait out. See how many fish we can catch it today. Oh, that's a fish. What is this? It's a pike, it's a baby pike. <laughs> Our third baby pike of the day. I was like, this is probably a bass or something, but uh, it's a pike. Look at this. Relax, dude, you're gonna hurt yourself. All right, you can go. Bye bye. You grow bigger. There's a nice piece of shade over here and a structure. Looks like a very juicy area to hide some fish. Oh, that fish? Is that a fish? Oh, it is a fish. It is so small that I don't even feel thin. Another baby pike. So this is baby pike number four, or pike number seven of the day. How incredible, huh? Little guy. Don't worry. I'll let you go shortly. Bye-bye. 
Okay, here I am by this bridge. We were here before, remember? In the last video. Let's see if we can catch a fish or two here today. Let's go. This on the cast. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh no, it's gone. No freaking way, I'm gonna get it back. I am going to get it back. No freaking way. Not gonna leave my French pearl behind. Let's go. Uh. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna call it a day. My pants are all wet, and uh, these pants is gonna take a while to dry it up. So uh, I don't feel good to just walk around with wet pants. Well. Anyway, it's a very good day. I have caught my PB over there. It's really a surprising catch. I would imagine my PB would be in the spring or in the summer, but in the late fall, I didn't expect that. That fish was so strong, definitely built differently. An eight pounder, that's really nice fish, guys. You know, sometimes if I don't catch a big fish, so I just skip the YouTube post, but I do post that on Instagram. So if you're wondering where my next adventure will be, come check it out. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on next one. Bye bye. See what's going on with my bait? The front treble hook has become single hook and the tail treble hook has become the double hook. It's all broken apart. I'm gonna change it to this um, brass hook. Here we go. Brand new.